Chamber family, welcome to the Talk of the Town podcast, where each week we bring you valuable insight and information that directly affects our local business community. I'm Danielle Hawley, and I'm proud to say I'm the executive director of the best Chamber of Commerce around the Fontana Chamber of Commerce, and I'm proud to bring you our Talk of the Town podcast with my awesome co-host, Mr. Carlos Garcia of FYI Technologies. How's it going, Carlos? Doing great, Danielle. <laughs> living the dream. That's what we always say. That's we are right. living the dream. <laughs> well, we are thrilled. Uh, we know we've talked about this. I get so many people that say, uh, how do I get on the podcast? Uh, and I say, you got to come to the luncheon because we raffle off spots on our podcast for our members. Uh, so you got to be a member first and then you win the raffle and you get to come on the podcast. And so yesterday we had a fantastic luncheon uh, and Mark Snows owner of South Fontana Mathnasium, uh, won the raffle and you're here. I mean, we talk about <laughs> time. So Mark, welcome to the show. We're so excited to have you. Thank you so much, Danielle and Carlos. It's great to be here. I was excited to win the uh, raffle yesterday. Yeah. When I saw your name, I was like, this is perfect. Um, especially because it's back to school season and everyone's getting into their fall routine. And so I thought, oh my gosh, we have to talk about Mathnasium. Uh, so we were there when you did your ribbon cutting. Was it two years ago? Yes, it's, it's actually the ribbon is hanging beside behind me here. Oh, I love well, it. Yeah, uh, it was uh, Pi Day, which uh, is for us a special day. March 14th, uh, 3.14, 3.14 is Pi. And uh, it was at 2 o'clock, which we decided to start at 1.59 which are the next three digits of pi and 26 seconds, which are the next two digits of pi. <laughs> so that was kind of fun for us math nerds to. <laughs> I know, spoken like a true mathematician down to the to the points of pi. I just remember 3.14. I see, They seared that in my brain in high school, and that's what I, don't, I can't tell you all the other numbers. But uh, let's talk about Mathnasium. Talk about you, uh, first of all, um, your background, and then Mathnasium. What is Mathnasium? Um, where are you located? All that good stuff. Very good. Um, yes, I um, basically care for people. We, If anybody follows our Instagram, we have a little puppet called Hootie. And Hootie is an owl, and Hootie cares. So... Uh, so I care like Hootie cares, and we care about people learning their math. Um, I'm actually a clinical psychologist. I mostly see adults, but as I have seen um, student-age patients over the years, I'll often do a little academic assessment, and frequently, not always, because sometimes tragedy happens and things need to be addressed, but uh, oftentimes I'll feel if they knew their, their math better, they wouldn't need to see me as a psychologist. So that got me interested in trying to help students to succeed through mathematics. Mm -hmm. And I came across math, uh, Mathnasium, which has this tremendous program. It's been around 20 years. It's a franchise company. There are 1,100, 1,200 centers around the world. Hundreds of thousands of students have been helped. We offer a free assessment. Uh, and then that helps us to identify what the student's strengths and gaps in learning are. And from that, we develop an individual learning plan for each student. So they're not just working on grade level, but they're working on their level of what they know and what they don't know. And we make math fun. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of, a lot of ideas about even the background here. You can see that. I know art. those numbers look really happy up on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> They are happy. This is a happy place. It is. And I've been there and you have centers and just every, every everywhere you look, everything's purpose, um, but it's visually stimulating, um, lots of hands-on um, manipulatives and things like that. So you really address learning styles for every student when they come in, uh, which is really awesome. But it looks like a fun place. And I think uh, math gets a bad rap. Uh, you know, oftentimes I think people are like, I'm not good at math. Um, but I, I don't think that's the case. I think a lot comes down to, you know, like you said, figuring out, is there something that's a block for somebody? Are they going, you know, do they have something traumatic happen or, you know, life's life and 
uh, you know, sometimes our kids aren't the best at expressing, you know, things that they're feeling internally, but you see it externally in the way that they're performing, mis you know, maybe they're misbehaving in class and acting out or uh, doing poorly in certain subjects. And so I love that you're bringing that emphasis uh, on psychology into what you're doing because there's a ton of psychology in teaching. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, we, where were you we, when I was going to school, Mark? Come on. I know. Yeah, yeah. That's right. All these great that's tools right. and avenues. And here we were struggling back back in the day, you know? Yeah. Right, right. Very good. Yeah. We have a, a one of our uh, window art is uh, confidence in math, confidence for life. Mm. Uh, so as, as students really feel good about math, it kind of translates to everything else that they do. Uh, we we uh, believe in concept mastery, so each uh, each step they take, um, they master the concept. Uh, they get a they get a spin the wheel and win some stars, and stars add up to cards, and cards add up to prizes. So uh, as you have fun with learning, uh, you start to feel confident about yourself and confident in life. I love awesome. that. I love it. Can you share with us how long you've been a chamber member and why the Fontana Chamber? Well, um, I started um, here in, I live in Fontana, so I uh, have been a long-term resident of Fontana. And so it made sense to have the Mathnasium here in Fontana. We're in South Fontana. There's actually a, a fellow franchise owner in North Fontana, and he does great work also. Uh, we want to help the folks down here in South Fontana to be able to learn their math and get ahead. Uh, I've been a, a chamber member since uh, since we opened in uh, November uh, two years ago. We're coming up on coming up on two years. So we've been open, whatever that is, uh, 19 months or something. And um, uh, so the Fontana chamber uh, reached out and I, I was actually planning on joining anyway, but somebody did reach out and I said, yes, I absolutely want to join. And it's been a joy to be part of the chamber. And I agree with you, Danielle, that this is the best chamber ever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're not biased by any means. Not but, biased you know, we're, at proud. All. <laughs> we're proud. We're proud of our members. We're proud of our yeah. business community. And we love Fontana. We want to see what's best. And I say this all the time. You know, if our students are thriving, our, our city's thriving. If our business community is thriving. Our families are thriving. Everything is so interrelated um, that, you know, we want to make sure that we're setting everyone up for success on all levels. And especially speaking about our students, um, you know, we want to prepare them for success after school. And like you said, giving them that confidence is a key life skill that they need to have after they leave high school. Um, and so I think building that foundation when they're younger, um, early on is just great because that's something that no one can take away from them, right? That confidence and who they are and their abilities. And so, um, you know, you're, you're almost, you're math coaches, but I feel like you guys are life coaches too, in a sense. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Uh, we had a, um, uh, a great um, online review recently that the parent just said, uh, I'm so glad I tried it. Uh, math used to be hard and now she really enjoys going and uh, we just love being there and we should have done it sooner. So, um, so that was a family that, you know, we typically hear things like that. So that's oh, wonderful to hear. That's great. Hey, Mark, do you take us old folks still uh, to take classes or not? Was there an age so, uh, absolutely. Uh, we do have a, we do have an adult program. I don't have the adults here when when I have uh, uh, school age students here, but uh, we do have you know there's a lot of adults that uh, have life goals they want to get ahead they haven't uh, really mastered their math and it's holding them back. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, passing the CBEST or maybe it's passing the GRE or maybe it's passing the uh, 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 journeyman for the electrician or maybe it's passing for getting into the military uh, or, you know, any, any number of situations. I uh, have a recent student that's a, um, a lady that's been driving a truck for many years and she wants to go back to school and get her nursing license and she needs some math help. So uh, we're here for adults as well. That's fantastic. I didn't know that. I thought you were all student, you know, school age focus. I didn't yeah. know the school program. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if there's an adult out there that needs some help, we'd be very happy to help them. Yeah. 
That's fantastic. Um, awesome. So uh, we, we talked about your ribbon cutting and that happened on Pi Day and that was a lot of fun. And I saw your activity centers that you had set up for uh, your students coming in that day that were all pie specific. You had pizzas, of course, and all those things. Um, but it seems like you guys are very um, obviously focused on keeping things fun and keeping the community engaged. Let's talk about your events. Uh, what types of events and things do you host throughout the course of the year um, that people can come and check out? Yes. So um, uh, we do have a little uh, mathnesium calendar each month. And so every month is fun. Uh, the sixth was root beer float day. If Ooh. you get uh, 10 pages done, you can get a root beer float. Uh, yesterday was hot seat day. If you get sit in the hot seat and answer questions uh, uh, right, you get 10 extra stars. So a uh, little girl that was learning her uh, measurements, I asked her oh, uh, if, uh, if it was uh, three and a half tons of gravel, how many pounds would that be? And she nailed it. She got 7,000 pounds. So uh, so that was fun. And mom was sitting over here listening, saying, don't ask me that question. <laughs> I was about to say that, man. Don't quiz me right now. So, Carlos, let me let me give you an example of of some of the ways that we make math fun. Uh, what is seven percent of three hundred and fifty? So I'm going to tell you because I'm a nerd and I'm a tech. I wouldn't even break my head. I'm just going to say, "Hey Siri, what's what's the amount of it?" Okay. <laughs> my answer. You know yeah, very very good. So let's say so, twenty-four. You got it. Go. How did you do it, Danielle? I, well, I know seven percent of a hundred is seven, and then you I just it. multiplied that by three, and then I took half of seven. Well, it'd be twenty-four point five. That's right. Okay. So did you learn that here, or did you learn that somewhere else? Uh, I'm a, I did not, but I am a visual person and I see things in my, like I can spell words backwards. It's totally random. If you give me mm -hmm. a word, I can just, I see things in my head, but. Yeah. So that's hey, absolutely right. That. That's pretty oh, gosh. <laughs> My weird hidden so, talents or what? <laughs> so per, we teach the students per, what does per mean? Per means for each yeah. and cent, what does cent mean? Cent is a hundred. Mm -hmm. like a, a hundred cents in a dollar or a hundred years in a century. Yeah. And so for each 100, you have seven and you did it absolutely right. So seven for the, how many hundreds do you have? You have one, two, three hundreds. Yeah. So seven for each of those. Mm -hmm. And then the 50 is half a hundred. And so you have half of seven for that, which is then three and a half and yeah. altogether 24. So you, you did perfect. I get a star. <laughs> There's yeah. Danielle Day Plus right there. You got to give her a star. Right yeah. Yeah. 24 oh and a half. Yeah. So That's we we have um, other events that are coming up. Uh, we we try to, you know, we're, we're grateful and appreciate our parents so much. We have a parents' night out coming up um, on the 16th. We're going to. Uh, give the parents a break and uh, have the kids come here for some a movie and some popcorn and some fun. Wow. And the, the parents can go out and have a, a night out on the town, a little break. And then uh, we we have uh, we'll have a math night coming up in September, which is a, an event here, a little fun games to play. Uh, students get a, a math card and they go around to each uh, event and, and get a, a star on that. And then they get a, a spin the wheel and a prize uh, for their filling out their card. So uh, we'll have Pi Day again uh, when March comes around. Um, so lots of fun things that we do for, throughout the year. See, guys, math is fun. <laughs> <laughs> math is hard, that's for sure, right? I wish this was around when I was in school. I don't know. Yeah. Like the other parent life. said, um, this is like the Chuck E. Cheese of math. So uh -huh. <laughs> that's awesome. So, yeah. So, so. so let's talk about a little bit about what are the trends that you're seeing right now in math education? That, yeah, that uh, all of us kind of know it, right? We, we know that kids are struggling. We know that uh, the students are struggling. Uh, uh, we appreciate the schools so much. The schools do great work and, and uh, we had, 
history of COVID, right? And and we all know that learning loss happened during COVID. And so students come in and um, they struggled during those years and they uh, are expected that the teacher has an obligation to keep the the curriculum up to speed and, and keep teaching the curriculum, but the students didn't learn things a few years before. So, you know, there's been several articles published about learning loss and that it's worse than we thought and math education is suffering. Um, in addition to just that, our, our U.S. scores over many years have been slipping. Uh, we are uh, there's an organization that assesses uh, students around the world. They assess um, something like 79 countries, uh, and they do that every three years. I think they assess high school seniors. The U.S. has been about 39th or 40th. So, um, so that's really some of the things that started Mathnasium. They saw that trend 20 years ago and wanted to help. So, so we're part of that. We're 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 partnering with the schools, partnering with the teachers, partnering with the parents to help the students to succeed. That's where we're, that's where we fit in. We're partners with everybody else. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Um, for those that are listening, um, how can people get involved with your program? You said you're on Instagram and do you have, okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to, do you have Hootie close by? Um, can I step off camera for a minute? Sure. Okay, I'll be right back. Because, you know, my curiosity is totally peaked right now. Um, and obviously, if we're asking, how can people get involved? We're going to talk about Instagram. Uh, and, you know, ev- inquiring minds want to know um, who this is. It's like, who is this? Who do you speak of, this right? Mysterious- <laughs> oh, so cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is the most entertaining podcast we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're listening, you can watch it on YouTube. Yeah, sure. Hootie wants you to know that Hootie cares about math and Hootie wants to help you. I love this. Okay, that's amazing. If you're listening, you need to switch over to YouTube right now. Do yourself a solid and you need to see Hootie. That was awesome. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Again, making math fun. (laughs) One of my little girls in here um, yesterday said, who are you going to be for Halloween? And I said, I don't know, I'll be A plus or I'll be, we call him Ace. This is okay. Ace behind me. She said, you should be Hootie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she likes Hootie. So, That's so cute. <laughs> sometimes Hootie comes around and, and teaches her a math problem or so. Oh, so. <laughs> that's fantastic. So, yeah. So we do like well, to have fun. Yeah. Okay. So back before I rabbit trailed and got so excited about Hootie, um, I was asking you, how can people get involved with your program? So um, give us a call, uh, 909-637-0339. Uh, go to our website, uh, southfontana at mathnasium.com. Um, uh, we are on Instagram and Facebook, so follow us there. If you Google uh, or search uh, South Fontana, you'll find us. So um, uh, stop by the center. You can drop in on us. We are in the Target Shopping Center just south of the 10 on Sierra uh, off of Slover, uh, 17122 Slover Avenue Suite one oh. Uh, eight <laughs> and uh, right next to the police station. If you guys know where the police station is down here, uh, look across my the parking lot and I see TJ Maxx. So you, most people would be familiar with the shopping center. It's the Palm Court Shopping Center. So uh, we, yeah, we're here to help and uh, please give us a call and we'd uh, love to talk to you more about how we might fit in with uh, what your needs are. Mark, thank you so much. I I just so appreciate you hopping on here, sharing the amazing work that you're doing at Mathnasium. Um, and I learned something today. Uh, I didn't know that you had your adult program. That's fantastic. Um, so if you if you guys are listening, you have kiddos, or you know you're thinking about that career change, or you're at that season of life where, like you mentioned, you know taking the CBEST or any of those uh, tests you guys, you have it covered. So go visit our friends at Mathnasium. They will take care of you and you guys will make it fun in the process. And so I just really appreciate that. 
even for adults, we'll make it fun. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, I got one gold star for today, and I got to see Hootie, so I'm totally winning at life right now. I've, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Hootie was happy to to come on to the <laughs> podcast. He's over here telling me that he's happy to be here. Very good. Well, we might have to have him on again. <laughs> okay. uh, but we, we appreciate you, Carlos. Thank you for all of your help making our Talk of the Town podcast happen. Uh, and Mark, thank you again for popping on on such short notice. And congratulations on winning. Uh, you have to be at our luncheon to be there and win and be a member. Um, and so just it was the perfect person, perfect time. Uh, so excited to highlight you and what you're doing at South Montana Mathnasium. So thank you again. Uh, for those of you that are listening, don't forget our episodes come out every Tuesday, 10 a.m. on all major streaming platforms. You can also watch us on YouTube. Uh, but we appreciate you guys tuning in each and every week for our Talk of the Town podcast. Until next week, we'll see you guys later. Thank you, guys.